In this episode, I visit the so-called horror ship, the Basel Express. After being stranded in Antwerp, the ship were flat, there was rotten food, and the ship was in a bad condition. Basel Express is a Panamese cargo ship built in 2000 and had an Egyptian owner. The ship was internationally signaled due various defects. It was not allowed to leave the last harbor in Italy but still ended up in Antwerp. Here they concluded 30 technical and hygienic violations. The situation was dire. The Syrian shipper fled, leaving almost 20 employees behind. They weren't paid and the food was rotten. Luckily, the employees got help from the locals. They got fresh food, safety clothing and presents for their families. Finally, after three months, they could leave the ship and go home. Not a good sign. The ship had been docked here for one and a half year and recently got sold. The ship has left the harbor by the time of publishing this video. So I made it inside, I hope we can find some cool things, but uh, the containers outside were not too promising. Mm, I think they cleaned the ship. Mm, what a smell. Oh, I can't imagine how life must be on board. Wish I was here before they cleaned it. Again, horrible smell from the bathroom. Oh. Yeah. You can hear it storming outside. Well, the kitchen looks very clean. I expected a mess. Just a quick peek outside. Here you can see the deck of the cargo ship. All private belongings have been removed or taken. Nothing fancy. Doesn't look really hygienic. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Looks really old for such a new ship. A Quran. I heard a lot of the crew was Arabian, so
Here you can see some signs from crew members. I wonder what it says. So these guys had to share it in the bathroom and the toilet. You can see there's a door to the other side. I think when we go up, I think there will be the captain's room. Here's the medical room. Hmm. Looks like it's been emptied, unfortunately. There's a stretcher. Oh, it's still there. Gross chairs. <coughs> Damn it. There's not much in here. Alright. More of the same. Ah, now things are starting to get interesting. <laughs> It's a really old school one, you see. Here's the captain's office. Alrighty. Here's the captain's bedroom. Not bad, but uh, expected it to be a little bit bigger. Funny guy, which is always on the sea, puts up pictures from forest fields and German or Austrian villages. <laughs> also, the mattress is still here, it's one of the only ones left. I think the others were in a really bad condition. Here we enter the day room of the captain. Pretty nice. A few papers left. And yeah, the rest has been emptied. Oil record book. Hmm. I think this is the last staircase going up. And we should end up in the bridge. Ah, I can see the first things here. Oh yeah! Alright again, the ship was built in 2000, but it looks like prehistorical equipment here. Like this thing. A really old school printer. It's actually pretty funny with the curtains and stuff. Huh. Yeah, it's a ship how I like it. Lots of wood. Old school equipment. And again, all Arabian. Typical Dutch Belgian weather. Gray and rainy, but it's good when you're inside the ship, right? It's funny when you wanted some privacy, you could just could <laughs> close the curtains.
And as you can see, the ship has been in Belgium for just one and a half years. So there's still a calendar hanging here, 2019. Looks pretty cool. <laughs> for the Asian people. <laughs> I think this is the log. Yeah, the log book. See. Maybe they scream for our help. Yeah, we were docked here, I don't know. 2018. Yeah. Hmm. Let me check what was the latest. Loading operation. No. Mm -hmm. It's not the last one, I guess. Nope. We're now on the lower decks, where the engine room is located, the refrigerators. Not really the tidiest place, even after they cleaned here. The smell is still bad. Not used. Oh, that one is locked. The engine room looks in a pretty good state. Right. Probably we'll see the engine right here. Hmm. Not yet. Oh, there it is. Oh my god, this one is huge. Whoa. Check this engine. What a beast. Whoa. Oh, here you can see some pistons. I guess it's sold and now they're repairing it so it can sell. Show you these two. Here we have a really dirty workshop. As far as I can see, everything is covered in oil. <laughs> Damn! It's a really big one, two floors high at least. As you can see, they opened up the engine. Ah, so we can peek inside. Yeah, sweet. Take a look at the control room here. Thanks for watching and see you on our next adventure.